unbroken. You see, this Christian walk, it's a struggle. A struggle between flesh and spirit. A fight that I try to win but can't. This struggle is taking a toll on me and whispers that I'm broken. So broken beyond repair. So broken that I'm marked, labeled, caution, beware. Broken by the things inside. Broken by the pain I hide while being congested by so many lies. Because you see, it looks like the past is catching up with me. All my past sins and insecurities. I have corrupt images and thoughts that refuse to flee because it's those same sins and thoughts that were memories. For I think that I'm broken. Broken by the confusion in my mind. Broken by everything that I hide. Broken by the late nights and flashing lights. Broken by the tiny voice screaming out inside. Help me. Lord, help me. Heal me from my iniquities. And break me free from the chains that are holding me. For I am weak. For these chains of depression and anxiety are weighing me down. And the chains of lust and envy push me around because it's a struggle. A songwriter once said, part of me loves the world and the other loves you. And God, this has me wondering, oh, what should I do? That's when I remember that one should not let the circumstance break you. For God has given you that burning desire within you. Although we may feel shattered that we can't breathe, so messed up inside that we entertain the lies of being broken. But the truth is, we are unbroken. We are whole and intact with God. Because no matter the storm that comes our way, in the beginning, middle and end of the day, He is the one that we turn to. For he is the one that holds us together, our keeper, sustainer, the one we cling to forever. The one who provides insight to a better strategy, to avoid the lack of sufficient, the lack of supply, and the lack of synergy. For we can be broken whilst unbroken from God. But we ought to try not to be consumed by our brokenness. That we confuse our wholesomeness with the current hopelessness that we feel inside. For our unbroken relationship with God is what removes the partition in the room. Pushes us to greatness so that we can bloom. Pursued us with love so that we are free from captivity. With the knowledge of no longer going to be held back kept from or blocked for eternity. We hold the key to our unbroken relationship with God. And locking the door means that we have exclusive authority. For the God-given key is your access to prosperity. For God has given us the dominion on earth to bind any evil from childbirth. For when we walk, we walk as children of the King. When we talk, we talk as children of the King. When we worship, we worship as children of the King. And when we praise, we praise as children of the King. For it is said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say that the Lord is my refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. The intent of the enemy is to destroy us. But we ought to know that the thoughts that the Lord has towards us are peace and not evil, to give an expected end. So arise from your rubbles and move forward with the will of God. For weeping may endure for a night, 
because God will control every single fight. While he stands in the way of all danger, he is producing life changes. For we are broken whilst unbroken from God. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to Zama Phase 5. I am your host, DJ Sabi, the Gospel Servant. Zama Phase 5, the team is unbroken. Are you ready? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Grace Divine, and it's all about Zama Phase 5 tonight, guys. It's going to be lit. It's going to be an awesome time in the presence of God. Make sure you have your cell phones to tune in on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are. Don't miss out on what God is going to do in our midst tonight, guys. Stay tuned. God bless you. We love you. Zamar, Phase 5. Welcome back. I want to take this opportunity to introduce to you an artist who is no stranger to Zamar. Ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for Mr. Kama and the Zama Band.
our God and all will see how great, how great is our God. A really, really great God, really, really great God. Hey, sin. A really, really great God, really, really great God. Oh, a really, really great God, really, really great God. And our hearts will see how great is our God. Mercies endure it forever. Our God is so great. In my time of trial, He go before me. He makes a way for me. And if He makes a way for you tonight, you know that you can trust in a God that is great. You can trust in a God that is awesome. And we give Him praise. Somebody say hallelujah.
making a way where there seems to be no way but you know one thing we can't do we can't go back into the past and change it but we can look to the future 
for we know our King cometh, and He will solve every issue in this life. Because I know I'm not forgotten. I know His presence is here tonight. Somebody just feel the presence of God, knowing that all is well. You are so good, God. And we give you all the glory. We bless your name, oh Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for what you have done and what you continue to do. Hallelujah. Can't go back to the beginning. Can't control what tomorrow will bring But I know here in the middle Is a place where you promise to be I'm not enough Unless you come, would you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Would you meet me here again?
not enough Jesus.
awesome. Guys, I enjoy this. This is sharing is caring. If you really care, I want you to share. But do a little more than just sharing. Go ahead and subscribe to EG's page if you haven't done so as yet. All right? And if you haven't liked it as yet, now is a good time to do so. Listen, let's move on. I really enjoy Mr. Kama's performance tonight. And right now, I want to introduce to you my brother, Kevin Paul, back by the Foundation Band. Enjoy. Hey guys, we're inside Zama Phase 5. Uh, anybody listening on the YouTube and the Facebook and just keep charting on and... Oh, yeah, we have to go. Bye.
Jesus is the only one that can take us through every situation that we go through, yeah? And I will serve on until I die. I, 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 I. Samar, phase five. Yes, if you're listening online, just stay tuned, yeah? Everything, everything we must give thanks, yes. For the food on the table and the clothes on our back. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You better give thanks, give thanks and praise it. Give thanks, give thanks. Yeah, get the young boot, yeah Start to love your things and go on, yeah Cause Christ is coming soon With the light unknown, yeah But you better give thanks Give thanks Give thanks and praise it I 
just want to thank God for having me here today. I just want to thank him for the bread that he has given unto me. That bread in my lungs. Father! Ah, thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Yes. Is your bread in my lungs? So we pour out a praise, pour out a praise. It's your bread. In my lungs, so we pour out a praise to you only, God, yeah, great are you, Lord, yeah, great, yeah, great are you, Lord, it's your breath, yeah. Is your bread in my lungs? So we pour out, pour out a bread. Is your bread in my lungs? Yeah. Is your bread in my lungs? So we pour out. Pour out a breaks to you only God Great are you Lord Great are you Lord yeah great Great are you Lord hey, It's your way It's your
thank you, O oh God, for the breath in our lungs, O oh God. Every day that we wake up, O oh God, is enough to give you praise and thanks, O oh God. Great my Lord, yeah. Great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty. Even as you are looking at us, I pray that you give God his great praise. The great God. Ha. Hallelujah at this time. At this time, I'll take this time to, to welcome a sister of mine, a woman of God, who will take the praises higher and the worship to our next level. I introduce to you tonight. Grace divine blessing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, if you're online, if you're in this house, come on, let's just continue to worship God all over this room, right where you are in your living room, in your bedroom, where you are seated in this moment. Summer phase five, we are unbroken because God has made us whole because God lives in us because he sees us because God has kept us because God has healed us oh, Hey 
Only to find that you were God. 
This was excellent worship unto an excellent God. Guys, I know you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it too. If you really, really enjoyed it, do me this one little favor. I mean, it's not like I'm begging, but seriously, you need to share, you need to like, and you need to subscribe. All right? Take this opportunity now. Share it with a friend on WhatsApp. Wherever you can find someone, a family member, just share this live right now. Because you see the next artist that is coming on, the next set of worshipers that is coming on, you will enjoy it to the maximum. Now, if you have been following Zama, all right, from phase one, two, three, four, and now we are at phase, phase five, I know you may know of some of those songs, like, Papa, oh, mighty God, hey, mighty God. You are truly wonderful, mighty God. 
and songs like Face to Face. I'm, not, I'm talking about spice worship, guys. Spice worship. Now, if you know you are ready for spice worship, let me see some hearts. Let me see some likes. Let me see some thumbs. Come on, guys. Put it up and get ready as I introduce to you Spice, spice Worship. Glory to your name. Tonight we're going to sing about the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has the power to break chains, to break shackles. The blood of Jesus has the power to send demons running away. And tonight, Spice Worship Ministries, we are going to acknowledge the power of the blood of Jesus. Won't you join with us as we praise God, as we celebrate the blood of Jesus. If your feet are anointed, if you under the blood, give me a holy go shout. If your hands are anointed, and if your feet are anointed, and if you're under the blood, give me a holy go shout. If your hands are anointed, and if your feet are anointed, and if you're under the blood, under the blood, under the blood, yes, I am anointed to put the enemy under my feet. I am anointed, moving forward.
gonna go into Satan's camp and we're gonna take back everything the devil stole from us. But we cannot go into his camp without being covered by his blood. Say, blah, 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 blah. The second song that we are going to do is called Can't You Hear Me? And it's a song that God gave me many years ago. And it's a song where God is calling his people. He is calling his people to come back to him. He's calling the church to be the church again. He's calling us to be that remnant. Holy, pure, righteous not full of impurities, but as precious gold. Hallelujah. Don't you hear my voice calling you? My desires to wipe your tears away. You don't. to the words that I say when you're reading my word when you're on your knees in Recognize my voice. You're ignoring my plea. My heart is aching. I'm scarred so deeply. For my children are not in unity. Average. 
is fake Even though you know what the Bible say So much discord within my body today Malice, jealousy, hatred and hypocrisy church to make things right to make things right Desires to wipe your tears away You don't listen Listen to the words that I say When you're reading my word When you're on your knees, you're on your knees and pray is to wipe our tears away this is what he wants this is what he desires he wants to help us he wants to deliver us he wants to bring peace to our land but what the problem is humbling ourselves before God I'm not talking about the fake Jesus. I'm talking about the real Jesus. The Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus where holiness and righteousness still exist. The Jesus where holiness matters. Not the Jesus where anything goes. Not the Jesus where everything happens. And it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. This is the last days and we ought to come back to the real Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus the Messiah. Jesus the King. Hallelujah. Elohim. El Shaddai. Adonai. Rock. We need to come back to the real God. The real God of the Bible. Hallelujah. 
We're going to do this last song called The Anointing Breaks the Yoke. And it's a song that I wrote earlier on this year while being ill. And tonight, we're going to sing this song by faith. And we're going to believe that the anointing is going to break the yoke. Feel free in the audience to worship. Feel free at home to worship. His presence is so real. His presence is here tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Just worship the Lord with me. Spice worship. Worship the Lord with me tonight. Shatarabos.
I will never be the same Come and sing with me No more pain Ain't no more sickness No more sickness Come on, declare it No more shame Testimony tonight, devil, you have no hold on me. You have no hold on me. So we're gonna break free tonight. Break free. 
children break free, break free from sickness, break free, break free ah. from depression, break free, break free from strongholds, break free, break free. Come on, sing with me. Children break free. Break free. Shatarabo Sata. From sickness break free. Break free. From depression break free. Break free. Yes. From strongholds break free.
Hey folks, it's time. The Zama Phase 5. It's here. And Mr. Kama, the experience. Are you ready? Let's praise. Yeah, we are back. The intensity of the praise is rising. The level of worship is continuing to ascend. Now we know the glory of the Most High will come down as we praise His holy name. So guys, I want you to welcome to... Zama phase five, not for the first time, not for the second time. I mean, come on, Loxton is no stranger to Zama. The history I can tell you, but let's save that for later. You would recognize that this young man has a heart for worship. He loves to praise the Lord. That's what he does. Worship and praise is a part of who he is. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Loxton, Mitchell, and the Zama in-house band.
set up Not no
Now, before I minister this poem, by the grace of God, I would like to tell you the reason why I composed this piece. Now, the reason why I composed this piece is to kind of encourage us to never allow anybody to quench your fire for God. You know, I remember there was one time when I was back in England, and this was during the times when I first gave my life to Christ. And you know, when you give your life to Christ and you find a, good, um, a church that, you know, your spirit really clings to, etc., and you just feel welcome, um, you come with fresh fire and you come with motivation, determination, and you're just excited. So I happened to um, bump into one of my friends one time. And as I was having a dialogue with him and he was asking me like, hey, bro, I haven't seen you for a very long time. What's happening? Like, where have you been? And I told him, you know, that, you know, I've given my life to Christ now and I've changed and etc. And he was just looking at me in amazement, you know, and then he started asking all of these like, you know, um, doubtful questions you know questions to kind of just quench my spirit quench my faith quench my fire you know these questions that just don't seem right to me and what he didn't realize was the fact that as he was speaking i was actually composing this piece in my head and after i left him on the bus journey from where i was to my cousin's house i decided to write this piece and this is what this piece is based on it's based on that conversation that i had and it's to encourage all of us, never allow anybody to quench your fire. And it goes like this. I go crazy for the Lord, I get hungry for his words. But what has God done for you? What has God done for me? They ask me. And my response is, you should be careful of your words, not to mention such words. See, your life is based on reasons bringing up all sorts of thoughts to flee from him. See, you ain't even realize you're living life without a meaning because you ain't seeking him. See, it's funny because you still deceive yourself, forgetting yourself, not even looking at yourself in the mirror. Or perhaps, have you ever looked in the mirror? See, I think you need to consider to look in that mirror to see the man you never planned to see and decide on the man he really wants you to be. Because this life is a struggle, you see. See, we can make it harder or easy for ourselves. It's easy. You got a free will. It's that real. See, time's ticking, time's wasting, so what are you waiting for? Miracles or his physical appearance? Boy. See, it's a bit more than just thinking. It's a bit more than just meditating. It's all about giving up everything without no form of doubting. I mean, why are you doubting? You actually surprising. But I hear we're still asking. What has God done for me? And what has God done for you? They ask me. And my response is, blinding our ways, not seeing that darkness reigns, I said. Blinding our ways, not seeing that darkness reigns. See, it's so good to tell yourself, it's so good to convince yourself you're doing fine without Christ, but what about your afterlife? Could we even try to imagine it? I see it's becoming interesting. 
It's like a puzzle with only one piece. Your life. But it's impossible to piece your life together, possibly because you're missing Christ. God bless you. We don't want to finish without, you know, just recognizing some very special people. Special people, I want to begin with you. Yes, you are looking at me right now. You who are listening to me right now, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I said from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, that's a special place. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. All right? And don't stop here. Just continue to share, like, follow, and subscribe. That's how you're going to help HD Sound System who powered this whole event. Give it up for them. Some hearts will do at this moment. Hearts, hearts. Show some love. But we don't want to forget the Loxton Mitchell Foundation. They are one of the sponsors of Zamar Phase 5. Yeah, Zamar Phase 5. Let's get this right, all right? And also, we want to big up Easy Brokerage Services. We want to big up Hope FM Grenada. And also the Country Code Store. These are some of the amazing sponsors this evening that has made this phase five of Zama possible. So thank you guys and have a blessed evening.